We have all heard this saying that the sexiest job designation is of data scientists. So today in this video, we are going to look into how you can get a data science internship, what skills you need and how to attract recruiters. We will also be looking into how you can start creating your own projects and how to get yourself hired in 2021. So hello everyone, my name is Shivani Singh and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So let's just start this video with a question like why data science is so famous why data science is the key of getting value out of data and from where this growing interest comes from. Now suppose we are working in Amazon and we have a new product, in this case a book. Now we want to recommend this book only to the potential buyers. How we are going to accomplish that? To solve this problem, we will be taking some historical data that we already have and some near real-time data. We will be looking into three things. First one is demographical data, second one is customer previous purchases and third one book reviews. Now we have a question, what type of book does this customer like? To solve this, we are going to create a model using customer preferences plus new book information. Now this will tell us who is more likely to like this new book. Now we are only going to market this book recommended by the model that is to the potential buyers to the right audience. We did a simple thing over here first we generated some insights and performed actions based on those insights. Now we will be looking into the technical skills you need to get the internship. So the first point is that you should have a strong command over Python or R as these two languages are the widely used. Python programming language enable us to experiment, analyze and apply machine learning algorithms. Second point, you should learn a database querying language like Oracle SQL, NoSQL, MySQL. Uh, when you're working in a company or doing a project, this will come in handy as you will be working with the data, you should know how to handle it better. When it comes to applying machine learning algorithms, you should practice k nearest neighbors, k means classification algorithms like decision trees and logistic regression. Try to understand each one of these algorithms and what makes them different from each other. It's important to have theoretical knowledge along with the practical knowledge. Statistics in data science is again very important. As a beginner, you should be familiar with statistical tests, distributions, maximum likelihood estimators, etc. Statistics is important at all company types, especially data-driven companies where stakeholders will depend on your help to make decisions to analyze, evaluate and design experiment. Now this point will depend on the companies that you're applying to, but you can try to learn following tools. First one is Tableau. Tableau is a data visualization software that is packed with powerful graphics to make interactive visualization. It is focused on the industries that are working in the field of business intelligence. Second one is TensorFlow. TensorFlow is basically used for machine learning. It is an ever evolving toolkit and it is well known for its high performance and high computational abilities. Third one, MATLAB. In data science, MATLAB is used for simulating neural networks and fuzzy logic. Using MATLAB, you can create powerful visualizations. Also, MATLAB is used in signal and image processing. Finally, communication skills is the best asset that you can have with yourself no matter what job you're applying to. But in data science, it is one of the most important skills. As you're going to solve a company's business problem, you should be able to explain what the data is saying and what should be done for the betterment of the business. You should be able to explain your findings and answer all the questions that are raised at the start of the project. Uh, my advice to you would be that after making your data science projects, try explaining your projects to your friends so and ask them if they are able to understand your findings and predictions or not. Now we'll talk about how to create your own projects. There are basically five steps in that. Uh, so I will be guiding you using Python and its libraries that you need to learn in order to work on any data set. So the first step is select your ideal data set. You need to download your data set. Some of the famous data set that you can start with are loan prediction data set, sales data, Twitter data, movie reviews data, house prediction data set. So I started with movie reviews data set. Now the second step is processing. Basically in this step you need to clear your data set. You need to find out what parameters you have and what they mean. Are they going to be useful in achieving your main goal or not? 
Now, in data science, this step is the most important. Uh, data scientists spend 70% of their time in cleaning the data. But why do we clean data? We clean data to remove structure errors, to remove outliers, to remove duplicate and null values. So NumPy is the Python library that is going to be useful in this step. Now, third step is analyzing. You need to analyze your data set, figure out what columns and rows are important as in features and parameters you need to question the model. Uh, you need to perform some coding and analyze the data and understand the data thoroughly. Pandas is the Python library that is going to help you in this particular step. Now the fourth step is visualization. Now the Python libraries that I use and am completely in love with are matplotlib and seaborn. Another one is graphlab create that you can use to analyze large data set. This step will help you to analyze patterns between parameters and uh, how they are related to each other. Now the fifth step is machine learning. In this step, the Python libraries that most of the learner use is scikit-learn. You can apply all the above mentioned algorithms like KNN, K means the decision trees algorithm using scikit-learn. In this step, you need to question your data set and find out the answers to those questions in your predictions. I want to add one quick tip over here. After creating some few data science projects, you can try creating an end-to-end -end projects like try using Flask or Zango with that. You can create something like movies or web series uh, recommender. You can create forest fire predictor or you can create chatbots using Python as a programming language. So try to create one of these and you can find the best project ideas on data science and you can create any one of those. Lastly, I want to talk to you about how to attract recruiters. So the first point is create a GitHub profile. Upload all your projects over there and explain your findings and predictions. Remember, you should have the skills to tell the story of your data and what problems can be solved using this data. Remember, the recruiters want to see your programming skills and they want good data science enthusiasts. They want to see your approach to the problems. Then they will think about the next steps and contacting you for uh, some interview kind of thing. Second point, create good LinkedIn connection. You must follow all the people who are already an expert in this field and this comes with various benefits. You can ask them to refer you or you can ask them to give a feedback on your project. Some of them may keep you in their mind and contact you when a certain position opens up in their company. Also, uh, you can follow them so that you can see the latest trends in that particular field or you can see the job postings by them. Like if there is any posting for an intern or a job. So, you can directly apply over there. Now the third point is participate in hackathons. Now this is the most important point and there are two places that you can refer to. First one is Kegel. Now I think if you are into data science you already know Kegel but Kegel organizes each and every month some hackathons and they give real world problems to you. Now this will help the recruiters to understand that what your approach to the problem is and how your programming skills are. Also this will help you to improve your critical thinking and practical data science skills. Now the second place that you can refer to is Analytics Vidya which is a knowledge based portal for analytics and data science professional. They also organize some kind of webinars where they uh, like data science experts tell you the correct approach to a problem. So guys that's the end of the video. Please let me know in the comment section below if you want another video related to data science and if you have any questions related to this particular topic ask me in the comment section below. Till then bye bye.